Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first six commandments, and now it's time for the seventh, Thou shalt not steal. We've discussed what it means to steal, and how possessions are supposed to work according to the will of God. Now for theft. Is theft against the seventh commandment? The subject of theft is often a confusing one because people assume that theft means taking anything from someone else against their will, regardless of what's being taken or the circumstances. However, the church doesn't quite define theft that way. The seventh commandment forbids theft, that is, usurping another's property against the reasonable will of the owner. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2408, first sentence. Notice the phrase, reasonable will. This seems to imply that if the person's will to retain their possession is actually unreasonable, the act is not stealing. We do, of course, need a clear definition for what constitutes an unreasonable will, and sure enough, the Catechism provides it. There is no theft if consent can be presumed, or if refusal is contrary to reason and the universal destination of goods. This is the case in obvious and urgent necessity, when the only way to provide for immediate, essential needs, food, shelter, clothing, is to put at one's disposal and use the property of others. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2408, second and third sentences. In other words, unreasonable will means that the person is trying to use their possessions against the survival of their fellow man by preventing them from having the basic necessities that we all need to survive. So, to sum up, theft is always against the seventh commandment, but taking the basics that you need to survive from someone who has more than they need isn't even theft at all. Next time, what about accumulating debts and borrowing money that you can't pay back? Are those against the seventh commandment? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.